Our bodies are capable of amazing feats of strength, agility and endurance. Behind these abilities lies a complex network of muscles, the unsung heroes of our physical selves. Muscles make up a significant portion of our body weight, working tirelessly to power every movement we make. From the simple act of walking to the explosive power of an athlete, muscles are the driving force. They provide the means for locomotion, allowing us to navigate our world with purpose and grace. But their role extends far beyond just movement. Muscles are essential for maintaining posture, keeping us upright and aligned against the constant pull of gravity. They play a vital role in regulating body temperature, generating heat through contractions to keep us warm in cold environments. And they are crucial for the proper functioning of our internal organs, facilitating digestion, circulation, and even breathing. Without muscles, our bodies would be incapable of performing even the simplest of tasks. Understanding how muscles work is key to unlocking their full potential. Muscles are composed of specialized cells called muscle fibers which have the unique ability to contract and relax. This contraction and relaxation orchestrated by signals from the brain is what generates the force needed for movement. Imagine a group of people pulling on a rope. The combined effort of their individual pulls creates a powerful force that can move heavy objects. Similarly, the coordinated contraction of millions of muscle fibers allows us to perform a wide range of movements from the delicate precision of a surgeon's hand to the raw power of a weightlifter. Muscles are not isolated entities, but rather integral components of a complex system that includes bones, tendons, ligaments and nerves. Tendons act as the bridge between muscle and bone, transmitting the force generated by muscle contractions to the skeletal system. Ligaments, on the other hand, connect bones to each other, providing stability and limiting excessive movement. Nerves serve as the communication lines, relaying signals from the brain to the muscles, initiating and controlling their every action. Together, these components work in perfect harmony to produce the fluid, coordinated movements we often take for granted. The human body is a marvel of interconnected systems, each working in concert to maintain our health and well-being. One of the most fascinating of these partnerships is the intricate connection between our brains and our muscles. This dynamic duo, constantly communicating and coordinating, is what allows us to move with precision, power and grace. It's a symphony of electrical impulses, chemical messengers and mechanical actions, all orchestrated by the most complex organ in our bodies, the brain. The process begins with a thought, a conscious decision to move. This thought, originating in the brain's motor cortex, sends an electrical signal down the spinal cord like a lightning-fast messenger carrying an urgent dispatch. This signal travels through a network of specialized nerve cells called motor neurons, which act as the intermediaries between the brain and the muscles. These motor neurons, with their long slender extensions reaching out like branches of a tree, connect directly to muscle fibers, forming what is known as the neuromuscular junction. At the neuromuscular junction, the electrical signal is converted into a chemical one. The arrival of the signal triggers the release of a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine, a chemical messenger that bridges the gap between the motor neuron and the muscle fiber. Acetylcholine binds to receptors on the muscle fiber's surface, initiating a cascade of events that ultimately leads to muscle contraction. It's like a key fitting into a lock, unlocking the muscle's ability to generate force. This intricate communication system from the initial thought to the final muscle contraction highlights the remarkable adaptability and responsiveness of our bodies. Whether we're learning a new skill, reacting instinctively to a sudden threat, or simply going about our daily routines, the brain-muscle connection is constantly at work, ensuring that our movements are fluid, coordinated and precise. It's a testament to the power of this partnership that we often take for granted the complexity and elegance of this everyday miracle. Our bodies possess an incredible ability to adapt to the challenges we face. When we push our physical limits, whether through exercise, demanding work, or simply navigating a physically active lifestyle, our muscles respond by becoming stronger and more resilient. This adaptation is not a random occurrence, but rather a carefully orchestrated process, driven by the body's innate drive to maintain balance and efficiency. When muscles are subjected to increased demands, such as lifting a heavy weight or sprinting uphill, 
they experience a form of stress. This stress, however, is not inherently negative. In fact, it's the catalyst for growth and adaptation. When we repeatedly challenge our muscles, we send a clear signal to our bodies that they need to adapt to handle these new demands. The body responds by initiating a cascade of physiological changes that ultimately result in increased muscle size, strength and endurance. One of the key ways muscles adapt is through a process called hypertrophy, which refers to an increase in the size of individual muscle fibers. When we lift weights or engage in other forms of resistance training, we create microscopic tears in our muscle fibers. This damage, while it may sound alarming, is actually a necessary part of the muscle growth process. It triggers a repair and rebuilding process that ultimately makes the muscle fibers larger and stronger than before, but adaptation goes beyond just the muscles themselves. As our muscles grow stronger, they require more support from the surrounding tissues and systems. Our bones become denser to withstand the increased forces placed upon them. Our tendons and ligaments become thicker and stronger to handle the added stress. And our cardiovascular system becomes more efficient at delivering oxygen and nutrients to the working muscles. This holistic adaptation is a testament to the interconnectedness of our bodies and the remarkable capacity for change and improvement. The journey to building bigger, stronger muscles is a paradoxical one. It hinges on a delicate balance between inflicting microscopic damage and fostering subsequent repair and growth. This cycle of damage, repair and adaptation is the foundation upon which muscle growth is built, a testament to the body's remarkable ability to heal and rebuild itself stronger than before. When we engage in strenuous exercise, particularly resistance training, we subject our muscles to forces they may not encounter in our daily lives. This mechanical stress, while essential for growth, inevitably leads to microscopic tears in the muscle fibers. These tiny tears, invisible to the naked eye, signal the body to initiate a complex repair process, calling upon a specialized team of cells and molecules to mend the damage. The first responders to the scene are inflammatory cells rushing to the site of damage to clear away cellular debris and initiate the healing process. These cells release signaling molecules called cytokines, which act as messengers, alerting other cells to the damage and recruiting them to aid in the repair effort. Among these recruits are satellite cells, stem cell-like cells that reside on the periphery of muscle fibers, patiently waiting for their call to action. Satellite cells are the master builders of muscle tissue. Upon activation, they proliferate, multiplying in number and migrating to the site of injury. There, they fuse with existing muscle fibers, donating their nuclei and cellular machinery to help repair the damage and facilitate growth. This fusion process allows the muscle fibers to increase in size and protein content, making them stronger and more resilient to future stress. This cycle of damage, repair and growth, repeated over time with consistent training and proper recovery, is what ultimately leads to noticeable increases in muscle size and strength. Section 5. Progressive Overload – The Key to Unlocking Growth the human body is incredibly adaptable, constantly striving to maintain a state of equilibrium, even in the face of challenges. When it comes to building muscle, this principle holds true. Muscles grow and adapt when they are consistently pushed beyond their comfort zone, a concept known as progressive overload. It's the cornerstone of any effective muscle building program, the guiding principle that ensures continued progress and prevents plateau. Progressive overload simply means gradually increasing the demands placed on your muscles over time. This can be achieved in numerous ways, including increasing resistance. Lifting heavier weights forces your muscles to work harder, stimulating growth, increasing repetitions. Performing more repetitions with the same weight also challenges your muscles. Decreasing rest periods, shortening the rest intervals between sets increases the intensity of your workouts. Adding sets. Performing additional sets per exercise further challenges your muscles. The key is to avoid complacency. Our bodies are incredibly efficient, and if we continue to subject them to the same stimulus, they will eventually adapt and cease to make progress. By consistently pushing our limits, we force our bodies to adapt, leading to continued muscle growth and strength gains. Think of it like climbing a mountain. If you remain at the same altitude, you won't make any progress towards the summit. But by taking gradual, consistent steps upward, you'll eventually reach your goal. Similarly, in the realm of muscle growth, consistent incremental progress is the key to unlocking your full potential. 
Section 6. Fueling the Machine Nutrition's Role in Muscle Growth Building muscle is like constructing a building. You need the right materials in the right amounts, delivered at the right time, to ensure a strong and stable structure. In the case of muscle growth, nutrition plays a crucial role providing the essential building blocks and energy substrates needed for repair, recovery and growth. Protein, often hailed as the king of muscle building nutrients, takes center stage. Composed of amino acids, the building blocks of muscle tissue, protein is essential for repairing the microscopic damage inflicted during training and for building new muscle protein. Without adequate protein intake, the body simply cannot keep up with the demands of muscle growth. But protein is just one piece of the nutritional puzzle. Carbohydrates, often demonized in weight loss circles, are actually crucial for muscle growth. They provide the body with its primary source of energy, fueling intense workouts and sparing protein from being used as an energy source. Healthy fats, too, play a vital role supporting hormone production, cell membrane integrity and overall health. Micronutrients, including vitamins and minerals, while often overlooked, are equally important. They act as cofactors in numerous enzymatic reactions involved in muscle growth and repair, ensuring that the body functions optimally. A balanced and varied diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins and healthy fats is the best approach to ensure you're providing your body with all the nutrients it needs to support muscle growth. Section 7. Hormones, the body's chemical messengers. In the intricate symphony of muscle growth, hormones act as the conductors, orchestrating a complex interplay of cellular processes that ultimately determine how our bodies respond to training. These chemical messengers, produced by various glands and tissues throughout the body, travel through the bloodstream, carrying signals that regulate a wide range of bodily functions including muscle growth and repair. Among the key players in the muscle building orchestra are anabolic hormones which promote growth and tissue building. Testosterone, often associated with masculinity, is a potent anabolic hormone present in both men and women, albeit in different amounts. It plays a crucial role in muscle protein synthesis, the process by which the body builds new muscle tissue. Insulin-like growth factor, or IGF-1, another anabolic powerhouse, works in conjunction with testosterone to promote muscle growth, enhance nutrient uptake, and stimulate satellite cell activity. But the hormonal landscape is not solely composed of anabolic agents. Catabolic hormones, such as cortisol, play an equally important role. Often referred to as the stress hormone, cortisol is released in response to physical and emotional stress, including intense exercise. While cortisol is essential for maintaining various bodily functions, including regulating blood sugar levels and managing inflammation, it can also have a catabolic effect on muscle tissue, breaking down protein to provide the body with energy during times of stress. The key to optimizing muscle growth lies in striking a balance between anabolic and catabolic hormones. By engaging in regular resistance training, consuming a balanced diet and managing stress levels, we can create an environment that favors anabolism, tipping the scales in favor of muscle growth and repair. Section 8. Rest and Recovery. Allowing muscles to rebuild and grow in the pursuit of muscle growth, it's easy to get caught up in the allure of intense workouts and pushing our bodies to their limits. However, what we often overlook is that true muscle growth doesn't occur during the workout itself, but rather during the periods of rest and recovery that follow. It's during these crucial times that our bodies get to work repairing the microscopic damage inflicted during training, rebuilding muscle fibers stronger and more resilient than before. Sleep, often sacrificed in our fast-paced world, reigns supreme when it comes to muscle recovery. During deep sleep, our bodies release a surge of growth hormone, a key player in muscle protein synthesis and tissue repair. It's also during sleep that our bodies are best able to reduce inflammation, replenish energy stores, and optimize hormonal profiles, all crucial factors in the muscle growth equation. But rest extends beyond just getting enough shut eye. 
Active recovery, incorporating low-intensity activities like walking, swimming or yoga, can aid in reducing muscle soreness, improving blood flow and promoting nutrient delivery to muscles. Proper nutrition, as discussed earlier, is paramount, providing the building blocks and energy substrates needed for repair and growth. And managing stress levels through techniques like meditation, deep breathing or spending time in nature can help keep cortisol levels in check, preventing excessive muscle breakdown. Remember, rest and recovery are not signs of weakness, but rather essential components of the muscle building journey. By prioritizing these crucial aspects of training, we allow our bodies to adapt, rebuild and come back stronger, paving the way for consistent progress and long-term success. Section 9. The Influence of Time, Age, Gender and Genetics in Muscle Growth while dedication, hard work and a well-structured training program are essential for building a muscular physique, it's important to acknowledge that factors beyond our control also play a role in shaping our muscle building potential. Age, gender and genetics intertwine threads in the tapestry of our individuality, influence our muscle building journeys in unique and often unpredictable ways. Age, an inexorable march of time, brings about physiological changes that inevitably impact our muscle building capacity. As we age, we experience a gradual decline in muscle mass and strength, a phenomenon known as sarcopenia. This age-related muscle loss is influenced by a complex interplay of factors including hormonal shifts, reduced protein synthesis rates, and decreased physical activity levels. Gender, too, plays a significant role in shaping our muscle building potential. Men, on average, have a greater muscle building capacity than women, primarily due to higher levels of testosterone, a key hormone in muscle protein synthesis. However, this is not to say that women cannot build significant muscle mass. Through dedicated training and proper nutrition, women can achieve impressive levels of strength and muscularity. Genetics, the blueprint of our individuality, exerts a powerful influence on our muscle building journeys. Our genetic makeup dictates our muscle fiber type composition, hormonal profiles and even our predisposition to certain injury. Some individuals are genetically gifted with a greater proportion of fast twitch muscle fibers which have a greater potential for growth, while others may have a higher ratio of slow twitch fibers known for their endurance capabilities. While we cannot alter the passage of time, change our gender, or rewrite our genetic code, understanding the influence of these factors allows us to approach our training with realistic expectations and tailor our approaches accordingly. By embracing the uniqueness of our individual journeys and focusing on the factors within our control, we can all strive to achieve our personal best, regardless of age, gender, or genetic predisposition.